Hey everyone, we've got some exciting news to share. We've just rolled out a fantastic new feature in Filmora called Autosave, which allows you to recover unsaved projects. This feature has been highly anticipated, and we're thrilled to finally introduce it to you. So, what exactly is Autosave and why is it such a big deal? Well, turning on auto backup is super important because it safeguards your work from unexpected data loss. Just imagine, you're in the middle of editing a video or working on some content in Filmora, and suddenly your computer crashes or encounters a software or hardware issue, and you're left with only one option which is to restart your computer, and you lost your whole project or some part of it. Now, how will you get your project back? What will you do to recover the unsaved project? The answer is nothing. It's all gone, and you're left with frustration and anger. But with Autosave, you won't have to worry about losing all your hard work. It acts as a safety net, giving you peace of mind so you can focus on being creative without the fear of losing your progress. Exciting, isn't it? Now, let me show you how to enable auto backup in Filmora, and also how to recover unsaved projects in a few simple steps. Step 1. Open Filmora and click on the new project to go to the main interface. Step 2. Click on File from the top menu, then select Preferences, and a new screen will pop up. Step 3. Go to the Folder tab, and at the bottom, you'll find the Backup setting. Select the backup duration from the drop-down list from 1 minute to 30 minutes, and set it according to your requirements. Step 4. Click Apply to save the settings. Now that we've enabled the backup, Filmora will keep creating backups at the specified time. Now, let me show you where you can find auto-saved or backup files in Filmora. Simply click on File from the top menu, then select Project Backup from the menu, and a new window will pop up displaying all your auto-saved project files. To open a file, just select it and click on Open. It's important to note that the format for auto-backup files has been altered to use less memory, making the backup process more efficient. Let's see the file size comparison between the backup file and the original saved file. You can see the difference backup file is smaller than the original saved file. Also, when you open a Filmora after unforeseen circumstances, you'll get a pop-up option to open your backup project. So, next time you open Filmora on your computer, don't forget to turn on the auto backup option and start creating without worrying about losing your projects. To enjoy this new feature, update or download the latest version of Filmora from the link in the description. Also, if you're interested in visual effects and Filmora tutorials, check out filmora.wondershared.com. See you in the next video!